Next morning, we're in Massachusetts. What? So stayed at Laurel Ridge campsite. Nice little tent site, uh, nothing crazy. Um, and I stayed with another guy, dude named Gourmet, um, at the little group tent site area. And we had a visitor a couple times last night. Uh, often, I don't know what it was, what it was doing, but it was crashing around in the woods. We're right next to our tents. So we'd shine my light out here at runoff and then it'd be back a little later. So unfortunately didn't sleep too good, but heading into town today. So uh, not overly concerned, I suppose, but nice cool morning, nice breeze blowing through, decent scenery. Feels good to be in Massachusetts again. I was uh, kind of brief when I crossed the border yesterday, I just, I don't know, I don't know what to say. It's crazy. Walked all the way from Georgia home. Well, kind of home. It's Massachusetts. It's just, uh, it's been an adventure. And uh, I feel like the craziest part is coming up. I feel like the whites, Vermont even too, Vermont, the whites in Maine, I feel like it's gonna be pretty crazy. I feel like the groups of people I'm starting to meet are much more like outgoing and friendly and everybody wants to talk to each other. It feels like a whole different vibe recently on the trail, which uh, is welcome. So, uh, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, carrying on. Should be a 12 and a half mile day into town. Two mountains right in the morning. We are hiking over the, uh, the ledges of Mount Grace. It's pretty damn windy too. <laughs> but beautiful, beautiful view. See the lakes out there? Not sure which ones. But man, not too bad. Not too bad. Views are getting better. I appreciate this. But cool little uh, ledge walk, needless to say. So we are currently on top of what I believe is the summit of Mount Race. Very, very windy still. So we're, uh, we're gonna take off momentarily, but pretty cool views. Same view from before in that direction. We got all this over here. And I believe that is Mount Everett we'll be climbing momentarily. Onward we travel. So we made it to the top of Mount Everett. You can see right there, that's where the fire tower used to be. Um, but no views that I can see. Maybe one or two down the way, but uh, nothing up here. Even if you kind of jump over the sides, it's all really obstructed mostly. So Unfortunate, because it was a pretty steep climb. It was all right though, not too bad. Uh, see how the way down is though. That's always fun. And uh, yeah, we'll continue on. So. Not sure how long I got, maybe another eight, nine miles. And uh, let's kill it. So as mentioned, no views on top of Everett, but uh, as you come down, if you're going northbound, as you come down, there is a little trail on your right. And uh, you come out to this little area here, there's a little shelter and bench you can hang out. And it's uh, the Everett viewpoint. So, and uh, give you a look. My screens are not working at all. So I hope uh, I'm actually pointing at the mountain, but You'll be able to see way off in the distance, right over there, the biggest mountain out there is supposed to be Mount Greylock, which is the highest peak in Massachusetts, and we will be going over that eventually. Two days later, I spent this weekend with my lovely boo. 
baby. And we have fun here in Great Barrington. But alas, we must move on. But in Massachusetts, be able to visit here and there. So that's nice. And we're not too far from the finish. The finish is in sight. So heading back to the trail. All right, so we are now back out on the trail. As you saw, I got to spend the weekend with my girlfriend, which was phenomenal. It was awesome. So good to see her again. Four months, four months is a long time. So uh, not gonna lie, <laughs> say I didn't want to just jump in the car and go home. <laughs> But that was kind of expected, you know, once you get back on the trail, it's all good. So and we're back out. So aiming to crush some miles today. We'll see how it goes. Guter Morgen, people. So, we stayed, might be able to see back there, um, the North Mount Wilcox shelter in Massachusetts last evening. Uh, interesting chain of events <laughs> as far as at night. Um, I think beavers or something are up here and we're destroying trees all around us all night. So, didn't sleep too well, but nice little area. Uh, the water up here at this day, this is August 1st, 2nd, and uh, the water is puddled, so no real good water source here, but whatever. And uh, carrying on today, aiming for 14 miles to the Upper Goose Pond shelter, which I've heard nothing but good things about. So, see what happens, see where the day takes us. We're climbing along good old Massachusetts. We're on top of uh, what I believe is referred to as Tyringham Cobble. And uh, nice little view here. I'll give you a look. Uh, oh man, pretty, uh, we're in a pretty little meadow. So, to the view. So, not too bad. I'm gonna carry on. Uh, aiming for Upper Goose Pond today, which was 14 and a half miles from where I started. And uh, it's a hot one. It's a very hot one. And uh, supposedly we come down to a little farm stand where we can buy some snacks from. So I might eat lunch down there. Carry on with the day. So we stayed last evening, Upper Goose Pond Shelter. Um, it was raining, so the shelter was full. Or cabin, actually. It's a cabin, not a shelter. Um, and yeah, I just uh, came back and kicked it in the back of the, uh, the cabin. Camped out, and we're walking down now to check out the dock. So we're crossing right next to and over, we just came over Route I-90 in Massachusetts. Mass Turnpike, or the pike as we call it in Massachusetts. It's crazy, drive this road all the time. 
Not this far out typically, but hey, whatever. So we're heading on, moving on, crossing the highway. Cruising along, we've gone a couple more miles, crossed a little pond area, but unfortunately didn't actually get to the pond. So, oh well. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna carry on. Just pretty little section here. Sun's coming through real nice. Looks super overexposed in the background, but I swear it's beautiful. <laughs> All right, carrying on with the day. Whew, it's a sweaty one today. Beautiful, beautiful weather, but we've reached Warner Hill, which uh, has some pretty little decent views off of it behind me, which you can see there, even though I turn into a dark black ghost. But um, yeah, some pretty solid views, so check it out. <laughs> 